Hey everyone, this is Scott from the Forgot to Grow Up Podcast. Welcome to another edition of Rewatching a Series of Unfortunate Events. Today I'm talking about Season 2, Episode 5, uh, The Vile Village, Part 1. Uh, so I just finished rewatching this episode, and I really enjoyed this episode because I remember the book a lot, probably because it was one of the last books I read in this series, but I really enjoyed this episode as well. We get a heavy dose of Jacques Snicket in this episode, and that's for some obvious reasons, because he gets murdered in it, which is a very sad occurrence for me, because I really enjoyed his character, particularly in the show played by Nathan Fillion. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, he comes to a sad and early demise in this show, uh, because he convinces the town he's Olaf, which I can't remember if that's something particularly from the books or not, or ex exactly how the, this book played out. Uh, same with Esme showing up and pretending to be the sheriff, sheriff, head of police. Um, so that, yeah, so those different parts I'm not really remembering exactly about the book. But the parts I do remember about the book is, you know, fainting Hector, the council of elders, the fact that the VFD of this town stands for village of foul devotees, which, uh, granted, I had to wait till the show told me it, but... Then that made sense. I remember that from the book. I remember the, you know, the um, hot air balloon, I believe, was in the books too, but I might be wrong about that. Uh, but yeah, there was a lot of cool elements about this episode. Some of the other things I wrote down, uh, Snicket confronts uh, Olaf at one point, but then he makes the mistake of not checking if the police was, um, you know, actually the police and ends up being Esme, so that was a little unfortunate. Again, Olaf in a disguise. Again, nobody ever recognizing, even Mr. Poe, who stares at Lemony Snicket, not Lemony Snicket, at Jacques Snicket, and thinks that it's Olaf, and I was like, ah, oh, Mr. Poe, Mr. Come on. Come on, Mr. Poe. God. But I guess that's how I'm supposed to feel about Mr. Poe, just frustrated, like the bull will hairs. <laughs> but obviously I have not suffered quite the unfortunate events they have. Uh, but yeah, one of the other things I wrote down is... Uh, oh, Limit, uh, Snicket, I'm sorry, kind of explains to uh, the um, Baudelaire's that the the I stands for VFD, the VFD uh, thing. Uh, and he almost starts to explain some more of it, but doesn't quite get a chance. Uh, and yeah, then we get a couple cool little in lines where, you know, lo the location of the Sugar Bowl, the librarian tra trades that to Esme for their release, even though... It only ends up with her release and ends up with Jock getting killed because nobody could fight in this apparently. <laughs> like, nobody can put up a real fight, which is a little frustrating, but it's also part of it. It's a kid's book and therefore more a kid adaptation. So they got to keep it PG. Um, but yeah, and then another thing is uh, before Snicket is killed, he drops a line of uh, the night at the opera with uh, alluding to something bad having happened with Olaf. And I'm having a vague flashback of us learning about this sometime later in this season, but I can't remember exactly. So I'll have to get to the next episode to find out. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I've written down for this episode in particular. I'm next excited to get on to the next episode, to get on to the second half of this uh, book and see what else they had in store for us. But be sure to let me know what I may have gotten wrong about the connection between this episode and the book or anything from the books that might have stuck out in this episode that I might have missed and anything that you might have liked about this episode. Uh, but thanks again for joining me today and have a good one.